so here we are again on walk with a duck i want to share with you certain things that popped into my head as been walking and by the way not trying to do secret service in here as you see this is still me it's just super sunny so here's a question that patients ask me maybe a thousand times i'm not exaggerating right question that people ask is this what should my cholesterol be so today i want to give you a really simple answer because usually I'll give much more complex answers if you want to hear a more complicated one that is still useful you tune in this Thursday when my podcast drops and I talk about a lipid profile but I want to tell you a kind of a simple answer so first of all when people say what should my cholesterol be remember that there isn't one cholesterol right we have several cholesterols that are actually shaping our heart risk some of them are not even cholesterols at all we call them cholesterols but they're actually triglycerides right they are different types of lipids they're not cholesterol esters which is what cholesterol actually is when you have your lipid profile you probably have the most basic numbers right you'll have your total cholesterol you'll have your hdl cholesterol you have your ldl cholesterol and you have triglycerides now when you listen to the podcast on thursday you will see why i always say get your profile in a fasting state you want it in a fasting state so that we can make heads and tails out of those cholesterols and actually give you the answer that is likely to help you as opposed to just sort of a meaningless number when you get your simple profile you can look at your total cholesterol you can look at your ldl cholesterol and you can look at your hdl cholesterol maybe they already calculated it for you maybe not you also need to know what your non hdl cholesterol is so you take your total cholesterol you minus hdl that's your non hdl cholesterol and i'm going to have you remember three numbers 70 80 and 100 if you are aiming for an optimal lipid profile you better have ldl cholesterol of 70 or less you have the apob if it were measured of 80 or less and your non-hdl cholesterol of 100 or less so usually non-hdl cholesterol is about 30 points higher than your ldl cholesterol so this is sort of a goalpost. The numbers are different based on your risk level, but the problem is, is that we're not so great at figuring out risk levels. Thank you for walking with this doc. I'm Dr. Regina Drews, and I'm an integrative cardiologist.